Hey guys, it's Vano. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we beat Giovanni and we beat uh, Blue again. The last time, both of them. And in this part, we are ready to head on to Victory Road. I don't know why I still got Clam Clam out. Uh, we're about to head on to Victory Road. Now, before I start, I just want to say I used one of the PP ups on uh, Gravo's um, guillotine. I also taught Bob a Solar Beam because I thought, you know, Solar Beam's a pretty good move. Uh, but Speed V needs some levels, and I selected Moopy. Uh, Speed V needs some levels. Moopy actually really needs to level up. But he's slow, so... Actually... Yeah, I'll put Moopy up front. Because to be honest, Grabo is the same level as Speed V. And so is Snoozu. And I think I can accommodate for that. I feel like I should be doing a bit of grinding. But I think we're doing okay. So anyway, head on into Route 23. Oh, that's the boulder badge. Go right ahead. Now, there's a gate for every single badge. So you need every single badge in order to continue. Now, you, you can technically come here like right away at the very beginning of the game, but you're not going to get far. And you know, this is pretty epic. You're supposed to follow the path, but why would you? Now, in order to keep on proceeding, you need Surf, so... Considering they're just testing to see if you have the badge right up here. To use Surf, why do they need you to use Surf? It's just kind of annoying, because you've got to keep using Surf. And then the epic music goes away, because you're surfing. Uh, by the way! There are wild Pokémon in this room. I know, it's just like, what? Um, well, yeah. And there's also actually three hidden items. You can get a full, a, a Max Ether, an Ultra Ball, and a full Restore. For example... I, I can't turn. Yeah. There you go. There's your Max Ether. Okay, now we gotta go surfing again. And then this person's all like, You need the marsh badge! So yeah. Anyway, keep on going. So yeah, so there's grass here. The, the, I don't think you get any Pokemon through surfing. But there is grass here, uh, and I think there's actually, hold on, there you go. There's your Ultra Ball. To be honest, I'm holding pretty much, by the way, my, uh, my box on the, um, on the computer has literally been filled with key items and TMs, and in the second generation you can get an infinite number of all of those. You can hold as many of those as you want, so the only thing you can box are uh, just casual items. Which is so handy! Uh... I think... There is... Well... There's another item somewhere over here. It's definitely a bit of a... Bit of a dawning place. Oh. There's a, full, there's a full restore somewhere now. Maybe it's that bit down here. Maybe it is right here. There it is. Okay, so yeah, like we are not far from the end of the game. We might be just a couple of parts away because literally all you have to do is just Go through this cave? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a cave. And it's even got the Mount, Mu the Mount Moon music. Um, glorious. So yeah, uh, so this is Victory Road. It has... Boulder pushing. It has a lot of boulder pushing. So you're gonna need... By the way, you see that little white patch on that platform? 
you can't pass that until you've pushed a switch. Uh, the boulder at the top you can't push forward. Don't try it. Uh, so you'll need to uh, get get a Pokemon with strength out. And in fact, you know what? You know what? While I'm at it, get these not the max revives, the super repels. I know I shouldn't really have bought that many, but still. Okay, so anyway, so just on Route 23, there weren't any new Pokemon you could get, but... In fact, there's not really any new Pokemon you can get, there's just a lot of Pokemon. Like seriously, look at that, you can get seven of them. Uh, so you can get pretty much all these rock types really strong. I don't really need a rock type though. Now, just over there, there's the switch. You know, I remember there was a lot of boulder pushing puzzles, but to be honest, there's not a lot. You've only got to do Seafoam Islands, really. And this. And... They're not that bad. So you see, yeah, you see how you can't really push that block? And also when you p push the switch down, then you can proceed? There still are trainers, though. Uh, I don't know. So there still are trainers, which kind of sucks. But hey, what's a cool trainer female? We have never seen Persian before, by the way. Uh, Persian is the evolution of Meowth at level um, 28. You know, Persian's pretty good. You know, it's fast, learns some neat on moves. Uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's the most necess the most necessary normal type. There's, there's better normal types, but you know, Persian's not a bad choice. And also, you could have gotten one at level 28. Also, these cool trainers will switch out Pokemon. So there's, there's the Nine Tails. I don't think we will see any other new Pokemon, though. Uh, there's one. Oh, there's two, actually. There's two new Pokemon we'll see. I would like to get through Victory Road this part, but I don't feel like making really long parts anymore. Well, not right now, at least. What are you doing? You're just wasting time! You could've... What you... I don't even know. I don't even know. Also, Moopy, this is why I think Moopy really needs level ups. Because this kind of gets ridiculous. He's just fighting and he can't outrun the Persian. And the slam keeps missing. And I really should have taken out Tri Attack, but eh. Lost out. Yeah. Okay, so here's something kind of weird. There's two items over here. I think there's one of these hidden. Nope. There's two items over here, but you actually can't get both of them unless you walk out of this area. So this one is TM43, which is. Hold on, scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, TM43 is Sky Attack, which is basically it's a, it's a better version of Fly. It's the exact same thing, except you can get hit on the first turn. You can push that if you want to go back, but pretty much why would you? Just fight this guy, go up the stairs, and head back down to get the other item. Oh, uh, there are two hidden items. They're both on the second floor. Also, this guy's a lot of Pokemon. Speaking of a lot of Pokemon, he's got Ivysaur. At level 42, you crazy? Holy snap! Why? Why? Why level 42? <laughs> oh. it, just, it just makes me sad when you see stuff like, oh my gosh, Moopy, you are so weak. And he's double X attacked. He's going to kick your butt with his special attacks. Like Vine Web. Vine Web's a special attack before. Are you an idiot or an idiot? I think he's an idiot. So yeah, um, he's got four Pokemon though. Basically this guy is supposed to fill out missing spots in your Pokédex. I don't know. Moopy, you need to level up quick. I don't think Moopy will evolve by the end of the game. I actually intended for him to evolve by the end of the game, but I don't think he is. Because he's gonna <laughs> hit level 55. And I don't think, I don't feel like he's going to carry the team, really. I mean, I can always grind, but... 
And to be honest, all these Pokemon are like level uh, 45. So yeah. Remember when I was like wailing on those guys and they were like 10 levels less than me? And then I kept complaining because the gold, uh, the Sea King tr almost took me out even though I was 10 levels above it. And yet I'm still taking out these dudes. I don't even know. Uh, so you would think that this guy with the three starter Pokemon, you would think that maybe he would have a different Pokemon depending on what starter you chose, but no. He always has a Charizard. So, I don't know. Uh, slam him. Except Charizard's actually pretty strong, so... Once you get crit. Rage! Yep, I'm not gonna stay around. Speedy, you can do this. Charizard! Thunderbolt! So yeah, so I think there's about 10 trainers in Victory Road. It's not too long. It's only three floors, but it takes a bit of time. And also, the trainers take a while. You had a chance. So yeah, so I'm gonna go up the stairs. I'm gonna walk, go straight back down. Because you gotta get both of those items. Seriously, you think I'm just wasting items? As I, I that as I get a repel. Okay, now what do you need to do to get the other items? You gotta push it the other way. That's pretty easy. So yeah, you know a lot of the strength puzzles are actually worse than gold and silver. So I don't really know why I thought the first game was really bad. Maybe it's because I'm pretty young when I first played this. I think I was about two, and Pokemon was almost one of the first games I ever played. Seriously, I'm I'm not even going to try. Yes, thank you. Learn Dragon Rage. You don't need agility. Seriously, he's gonna be faster anyway than. Most of the opponents, anyway. Um, you know, I might as well heal up while I'm down here. Guess not. Uh, that being said, I think I'll just try and get through this place, get to the end, and then proceed. So yeah, so still can't go on. Uh, let's see what else. I think we're okay. Okay, so there's two switch. Oh no, there's one switch. It's just a wide platform. This one's a trap. You're like, oh, I'll just push it down and then I'll push it across. But nope. You gotta push it across first. Because otherwise, then you don't get the leverage. Okay. So once you do that, then we can keep fighting more people. But I legitimately do want to get Dragonite to evolve, but I don't know if I can. And it sucks, because it's just like all the all the um all the trainers at the end of the game are like high 50s. Clearly I'm just going for experience Friday. Moopy! Isn't it kind of weird how they kind of expect you to grind now? Which is really weird, because seriously, before the C4 Milers, I had 23 and a half hours on my... on my, um... on my save. Do you think I need grinding? This is a really long Game Boy game. Ka-chop! Oh, gosh. So many trainers, so much time to do that in. I know I said I kind of wanted, I, I kind of wanted to do this because I said I had a time constraint, and I don't really have a time constraint. I just want to try and get this done kind of quickly. By the way, I'm recording pretty much all of these Pokemon episodes in advance. I have no clue when this episode's coming out. You know, if this episode might be coming out in like May. Uh, and in that case, that's a really long let's play. Um, but currently it's the 23rd of January. 
So, oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> also, do you see that? Do you see that? Ah. Um. Anyway, what else do we need to do? There's a switch there. It's TMO5. Uh, that is Mega Kick. Oddly, Snorlax can learn that. I do wish to challenge that you're not the Elite Four. As a kid, I always thought this was the Elite Four. I was like, oh my gosh, he's right here. He's a juggler. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Drowsy. Slam him. Oh no. Oh, I should really use Dragon Rage, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should probably change Pokemon. Uh, Speedy, you need more levels. It's not that Speedy's weak, but it's just like... And you know what? Actually, Grabo's not really doing too great in terms of stuff. I think it's just because there's a lot of special Pokemon. Like, there's a ridiculous amount of Pokemon with good special. And I can't really do anything about that. I'm just gonna have to deal with this guy constantly using confusion and be bet you I'm confused. Thank goodness I hit him though. Although I would have appreciated it if it defeated him. Dang it, Speedy. Uh, Use Grabber, because Grabber needs it. Um, so yeah, so, while it is a three, it is a three-story, um, cave, a three-level, to be honest, it's not too complex. It's a bit long, I will say that. Kadabra! Uh, guillotine? I don't feel like taking out Kadabra. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. More Kadabra. More guillotine. Oh. That would have been good. So, yeah. I think, well, how many trainers? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it's 12. Uh, that being said, I would like to just kind of get out the other side. Because Mupi just got completely annihilated in the first battle. And I would like to... Kill Mufi. Uh, because Mufi's about to die. Pretty much we all know that. Uh, and the Repel War. Uh, no, actually. Full Restore. I'm gonna buy more. You can buy them, uh, at the end of this place, by the way. Because you saw how you could fly to a place at this end. You, you can fly to the end once you, you know, do it. Which is handy, because, yeah. Come on, I'll whip ya! Whip ya! I'm afraid now. <laughs> these tamers, man, these tamers. They're out there. Hina has a Persian! Okay, so I don't know how much health this Persian has, but basically what uh, Dragon Rage does is that it's a dragon type attack, and it does flat out 40 damage. Also, it always hits. Oh, it's 100% hit, so... It always hits provided nothing else. Oh my goodness! Okay. I give up. I just can't even... Boopy, you just keep missing! All the time! Seriously, you're tough to train. Oh, so yeah. Ah, oh, well. It works. I'm okay with that. Uh, anyway, this guy's got a Golduck. We didn't see Golduck before. But now we will! Snoozer, you can do this. Golduck looks kinda weird. He looks really weird in, uh, Coliseum as well, because they use this stadium model. You know, a stadium model actually looks like this. That's the worst part. Seriously, the models in Pokemon Stadium actually look pretty alright, but... Yeah. Some, some Pokemon just didn't look as good. Okay, so we're gonna pick up this full hill. Okay, 
Now, there's one more trainer. I will fight him, and then I'll just kind of end the part, because... I do want to kind of make the parts a bit shorter. Just because I think I've been making them a little bit too long. It's been a pain to edit every single one of these videos, like, really long. You know? Because... Just all the elements on the side... Uh, I've said this before, it just, it doesn't take a lot of effort, it just takes a lot of time, and... Substitute, ooh. We've never seen anyone use Substitute, have we? Substitute, basically, your opponent makes a copy of themselves, or at least uses that sprite, and that sprite, uh, they lose a quarter of their health, and that sprite has that quarter of their health. Once the sprite has, or once... Once the substitute has taken enough damage, taken that quarter amount of damage, then it will die. Uh, in between that, uh, your opponent Pokemon can still attack you. And it is one of the most, this is one of the best things for competitive. Because literally, it lets you just, it lets you take a beating and not die. It, it lets you take a beating and not die. Unless you use it to kill yourself. But that gets annoying. It, it does get annoying when everyone keeps spamming it without actually backing it up. It's better for Pokemon like, um... That try to do, uh... Toxic traps, you know? If you poison your opponent and then you spam Substitute, it's just like, yeah, can't deal with it. And also, using Protect is always a good thing as well, because in later generations, there's no Protect in this game. Well done! So yeah, and right next to him, he had the elusive TM17. It's a TM, I feel a bit lazy in looking it up, but it is... Submission. It's an okay move. So it's, it's not too great. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Blue, where we'll get out of Victory Road, and maybe something else will come with us. See you Da 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 da